Well, you guys got another video. Do not buy uh, Ace Magic Mini PCs without watching this video first. So Ace Magic reached out and said, can I do a review of their mini PC? I said, yes, of course, no problem. So they sent me the product and this is it right here. In fact, I've got two products from them and uh, this is their i9 version. And I was all excited about giving you an honest review of this product. And then I did a bit of research as I always do with all my products and find out that this product uh, from other people have had nasty backdoor and root kits embedded in them. Malware, Redline Stealer and Bladder Bindi, uh, nasty viruses like that, which will allow remote connection and also allow harvesting of passwords and keystrokes of your keyboard, which I found absolutely disturbing. Now, before we get into the nuts and bolts of all of this uh, issue, I want to just have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. All you need to do is set up an account and use my promo code capital B capital R 9 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases. Once you apply this to your order, you can submit your order using PayPal. They will then ship you your key to your account and you can then use this key to activate your version of Windows. Check the video description for more details. So if this product is clean and I scan it and there's no malware, why am I not reviewing it? The simple answer to it really is I'm not a shield and I will not uh, promote products like this if they've got a bad past to them or they've had bad issues with them. I'm a pretty honest reviewer and I will always tell people uh, what is wrong with products if I see them when I'm benchmarking or when I'm doing testing. I always do research on products before I review them uh, just to make sure everything is okay. And of course, when I did some research on this Ace Magic uh, mini PC, I find out that someone also found some malware on their mini PC. Now, of course, there's found Blood of Bindi and also they also found Redline Stealer. Now, Redline Stealer, if you don't know, will steal all of your passwords. And this is exactly the thing that actually attacked Linus Tech Tips channel and copied all of his information. So I went over to Amazon.com and had a look at some of the reviews for some of the mini PCs, some of the more unfamiliar ones out there. And it was quite scary. Some of them had some nasty worms and root kits on them and malware. And you can go over there and look yourself. There's people doing scans and finding all sorts of stuff on the systems. Now, of course, if you format the system and reinstall Windows, again, it will remove all of this stuff. But you shouldn't be having to do any of this stuff when you're purchasing a mini PC. Now, this was just one in particular, but I also did a search for uh, the Ace Magic types of mini PCs. Now, it does look like there's a few rebrands here that Kamaru uh, is also a rebrand of Ace Magic or vice versa, and they look very similar. And it's probably the same thing for a lot of Chinese products. But you can see here, there's also some nasty information here. And you can go through and take a look at some of these. And some of these do say there is malware in them. I do believe that they are deleting some of their old uh, reviews and some of their old comments from their past sales because they've said now that they have cleaned up their act and they've now cleaned up their mini PCs. If you look at the NetGuy reviews here, he received an OEM mini PC for review, and you can see it did have the actual malware in, inside there. It was pretty nasty stuff. And again, this is severe. This is Red Lion Stealer. It's not a very nice Trojan to have on your system. And this was in the Windows OS VER, and it was called ENDEV. And this file was on his system. Now, this other one called ledcontrol.exe is to do with their RGB controller, and it is on the system. It was on my system, and it's being flagged up as uh, this nasty uh, virus. So, again, what do you actually do? This is the channel here, and I'll put a link of it in the video description so you can watch his channel. And you can see his mini PC sample had this backdoor Windows 32. I think it's pronounced Bladabindi, and it's a severe... This program provides remote access to the computer as it installed on the PC 
you can see it's to do with that endidev.exe in the recovery partition. So it's pretty scary stuff. Just going to drop him a quick sub there. But again, if he's got this on his system, which he only bought a couple of days ago, that is pretty scary stuff. That means this mini PC could still have a lot of these uh, viruses on them, even though that they are now saying that they have pulled all of these systems and hopefully this is the end of the saga. But you can't just wash your hands with something so serious like this and expect things to go away. And if I was to make an honest review of this product and tell you it's fantastic, you could go out and buy it and end up getting infected. And I don't want that. So someone's put a post on Reddit about this particular issue and he only uploaded this video yesterday. So a lot of these machines are going to be still out there for sale. And again, if they've got infections on them like these, you could end up buying one. And if you're using one of these systems right now from Ace Magic, I would advise you to at least do a reinstall of Windows to make sure there is no malware on there. And you can see the Bladderbindi and also Redline, what it actually does is pretty nasty. And of course, it can affect a lot of people. You can end up losing money out of your account. You can end up having your YouTube account closed. All these sorts of things if someone gets hold of your passwords and details. And again, I've plugged this into my network and I'm already doing some scans to make sure my systems are all clean. So again, he did get a response from Ace Magic and they have now assured him that these nasty machines have been taken off of sale. And you can see the response from this email. It says, hi, John. Yes, this virus software issue has been resolved in the current stock uh, product offerings this issue will no longer be present. Now, that doesn't mean that it, the problem's gone away. You have to ask the question, how and why has this got on these mini PCs in the first place? So if you have got one of these Ace Magics, you might want to check it just to make sure there is no malware on it and maybe even reinstall Windows. That's definitely what I would recommend. Again, uh, I won't recommend purchasing any of these. I won't be doing a solid review on this particular product whatsoever because once you've got your fingers burnt, it's very hard to trust that company again. And uh, they're going to have to go a long way to uh, work their magic on a lot of other people because I don't think people are going to want to touch this with a 10-foot barge pole. And the problem is there is a lot of people that review this sort of stuff and they don't actually do their research and they don't look. They just want to get the products in and review them, but they're not being honest to themselves or, or honest to you. And there is a lot of channels that are doing reviews like this, and they're not being uh, good enough at doing their research and also exposing companies like this so people don't fall into the trap of turning this on and having all their information stolen. And it's not as simple as... We've just re rectified the problem. Let's go back to the way it was. It doesn't work that way with me, at least. Um, but I won't be working with this company again, that's for sure. But I would like to just clarify that I did a Windows Defender scan on this one and it didn't detect anything. But that doesn't necessarily mean there isn't stuff on here that hasn't been detected. And also, it might be the version that they've resent out that is now clean. But it doesn't get them off the hook that easy with me anyway. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightexcomputers.co.uk. I'll leave all the information in the video description if you want to watch the other fella's uh, channel and find out what his findings were. It goes into a bit more detail because he did find malware on his system. Other than that, I think that's going to be about it. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.